What is up guys, Zack Scott here, playing The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Today, uh, I am going to go into this Terrytown area, have some fun with that, and uh, this is episode 60, so hey, I've been playing this for a while, it seems. But thanks for being here, thanks for watching, I really do appreciate it. Uh, I had a shrine marked, like, was it right below me? Oh, whoa, hold up, I gotta get that. I gotta get that. I gotta get that. I gotta get that. Got it. <laughs> Love it when that happens. And oh yeah, look it up here. Hold on. Before we do whatever shrine I suppose. There's a shrine over there. Was there another shrine that I marked that I... A little confused. But hey, let's go over here because this guy. I totally forgot about this guy. I have not visited him in a while. And uh, let's see what he has to, to get here. Booble Jims, good evening, Traveler. It's a fine night. Yes, very fine. Oh, yes, I forgot to mention something important. When it comes to Booble Jims, I believe gobbling down a mini at once is the key to turning into a Satori. So in the future, please bring me the quantity I ask for altogether. The reward I give you will be based on how many gems you give me. A good deal for us both. If you have Booble... Okay, so let's, tra let's trade. Uh, if you give me two, I'll give you one item of value. All right, sounds fair. Two, Moblin Mask, I guess. I'm overjoyed. Yes, I am. I knew you come through, Traveler. I'll dally no more. Here I go. So we got two this time. Gulp. Oh, my body is filling with mysterious pa power. I need more booble gems. I must have more. I'm sorry. Now that I myself once more, please, here's a treasure I promised you. Mob and mask. Okay. Okay, cool. So does he, you know, does he still... And I'll let you in on a little secret. Ever since I ate that first Booble Gym, I've been able to sense a presence of Booble Frogs, or though not all of them. For you, I can put my Booble Frog feelers to work and seek out places they're likely to be found. Of course, if you happen to have any remaining Booble Gems, I'm happy to trade for treasure. Let's trade. The Hinox Toenail might be of interest. I'll give you three of them for two Booble Gems. Sounds fair, I guess. <laughs> Who's so? Thank you. <coughs> so, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, do I have to go along with what he does? I feel something bubbling up from deep inside me, I think. More, give me more bubble gems. Okay, so I haven't really, cool, but I mean, I haven't really, huh. Okay, uh, happy to trade, but let's trade, what is that? I'll give you an item of value, I'll give you the mystic robe, sounds fair, that's awesome. What does the mystic robe do? Give me that. I don't even know what the mystic robe is, but I'm just going along with what Colton has to say here. Uh, what is that strange feeling running up ways and down wise my body? It's still not enough. <laughs> All right, all okay. right. Mystic robe. Oh, ru rupee padding. What is that? A robe acquired in exchange for booble gems woven with prayers to spirits. It protects the wearer, allowing them to lose rupees instead of health when hit. Huh. Okay. A bunch of eyeballs here. Let's trade. Sounds fair. I guess. I mean, is this fair? I don't know. I mean, sure. I don't know. I mean, I gave him three. And now he's like, oh, I still feel amazing, but it's like, you know, not enough. I'm just going to go along with this. Uh, fire keys, eyeballs. Those are probably pretty good. Oh, wow. There we go. That's a that's a, another mask of a Lizophos, right? Sounds fair. I Look, guys. I'm just going along with this. I don't know how long this is going to take. I kind of wish we would go all at once, but... uh. Colton is, has quite the appetite. I can't really skip this. Lizalfos mask, sure. Blend in with Lizalfos, why not? I don't think I'll ever do it. And then here are some tails, sure. Ice breath, Lizalfos tail, sure. I mean, I might just have to go along with this. I don't know what happens if I say no. But the important thing to me is that I'm getting rid of my, my booble gems that I worked so hard for and, ho and hopefully making this guy's day. There we go, we get pants. Let's trade. Four. Mystic trousers, so sure. So this is interesting. You lose, you don't lose health. You lose rupees, which would be really interesting for a boss fight. Can you pick him up after you get hit, or what? I don't know. Mystic trousers. I just don't know how it works. Uh, let's trade that. What is that? Oh, a white maned Lionel Mace horn. That's pretty pretty cool. I, mean, I can probably get one of those on my own eventually, right? Forty. That's pretty. That's pretty big. That's forty is good. 
Oh wow, what what mask is that? That's a Ganondorf mask, isn't it? No, oh wait, no. It's a Hora oh Horabi. I thought it was a weird looking Ganon. I was like, what? But I get it now. It's a horrible. There we go. I'm getting a lot of new stuff here. And oh, by the way, um, I got a really cool mask from scanning amiibo today. All right, Gleok wings, sure. These are these are really rare items I'm getting. So those are cool. Oh, that's a Lionel mask. I can. Blend in with Lionels, I guess, right? Sounds fair. I don't know if he's going to give me another armor soon or what. I, I have a lot of Booble Gems, obviously. Lionel Mask is pretty cool. Oh, the beasts are too smart for that. Whoa, what is this? Gleok Thunderhorn. Sure. Now, if the next thing is... F I mean, if I get another piece of armor, that would be great. But I might have to just wait. Gleok Thunderhorn times three. Whoa! Yeah, let's trade. What is that? Five. This is it, man. Mystic Happy. So I got the full Mystic gear, which is awesome. I, and now I got to get more Booble Gems for this dude. I don't have any more. But the Mystic Headpiece looks really cool. What would, what would be next? Uh, I've eaten all these Booble Gems and still haven't turned into Satori. What if I need to eat all of the Booble Gems? Traveler, I promise this is the last thing I ask of you. Would you pretty please collect all of the remaining Booble Gems? No, it's not right. I don't have a single treasure left to trade. I couldn't. I shouldn't ask for such a favor of you. Look at this gear that I just got. This is incredible. Uh, equip, equip. That is just amazing looking. That is cool gear. And then also, if you want to take a look at what I recently got as well, I got this mask. Look at that. My head's huge. Of course, I also have this mask, this mask, this mask, this mask, and then back to this. And then I forgot to show this. Uh, let me just sort by set. I forgot to show this, but the, um... oh, where is it? Uh... Oh yeah, the, the froggy stuff. This was the froggy suit. Forgot to show that, so that's pretty cool as well. I don't know about this, this Mystic Trousers. It really seems interesting. Lose rupees instead of health. The thing is, I don't really want to lose rupees either, but could be worth it. I'm just going to put this back on because this is the most protection I currently have. I don't know if I actually... I mean, it seemed like I marked something that was just right over here. I don't know if it's true. Unless it is just down here and I didn't, and I don't know where it was. I, I could have very easily marked something that... Oh, wow, look at this. I didn't know those things slept. Wakey, wakey. Oh, that missed. Uh, that was, Oh, wow. <laughs> that was an all-out assault. A stealthy assault by me. Holy cow. Absolutely. So I'm guessing the shrine is not here because I don't even hear a thing. Like you know, I like typically when I'm moving in, I hear like beep, 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 beep. I don't see anything. There's nothing there. Now there is one over there, which I kind of want to get. I think this is Terrytown, but I kind of want to wait for it to be a little bit brighter before I approach it. Uh, let's see. If I go over to the next. What was that sound? Did you guys hear that? What is this? Huh. I don't know. I need to find a way to automatically get into like... Like I almost need like a bounce... Can I do that? Is there like a shield that can bounce me? Hold on. There's an Octo Balloon, which is interesting. What about, uh, I have a whole bunch of shields. Is there something that will bounce? Uh, there is like a bouncy mushroom, right? Puff shroom. By type. Let's look at the mushrooms. Chill shroom, rush. Let me just hold that, put it out, drop it. What, what about a 
So I've, I think I've seen stuff like this happen. What if I take like, I don't know, this shield here. This is a pretty strong shield, sea breeze shield, and I fuse it with the mushroom. <laughs> Oof. That doesn't work. I thought maybe this would bounce me. Uh, let's destroy the fuse material. Are there any other shrooms that would be really cool? Razor shroom. Sky shroom. Iron shroom. I don't know that there's any bouncy things. It's a little, so like if I have my master sword, which is over here, and I take this shroom, it's bouncy, right? Let's let's not worry about it, I, I don't know, sorry. I was wanting a way to just like bounce up in the air and then like suddenly start doing the arrows, that'll be fun, right? I don't know what the strategy is for that. All right, what's the deal? Yes. Uh, nope. Uh, <laughs> no, what was it? There we go. Move. That thing fell over there. All right, now either... This might fall or it might not, I don't know. Let's put down some sort of... Uh... All right, let go, let go. See if it stays. That's perfect. Look at that, easy. I'm an expert at this now. Ooh. But we're going to, uh, the ter I think it's called Terrytown, right? Red rupees are good. Nice, that's good too. Bomb flower. Are bombs what will do the trick? I don't know. I don't know. Oh wow. I'll take it. So I'm glad I followed the trail because I, I got to see that guy. And then I'm gonna kinda go up this way. I know that these guys are here. Oh, the, oh people are waking up. Whoa. Good morning. Uh, how do I get to that shrine most efficiently? I guess I don't have to do it now. I can, I can just go into the Terrytown. It's morning, it's four in the morning. It sun rises at four in the morning here, I guess. Look at that town, it looks so cool. Don't mess with me, doggies. Oh, they're in sync. They're in perfect harmony. All right, let's see what we got over here. Oh, wow, okay. So, uh, sun to lions here, that's interesting. All right, so we're gonna see, um, we're gonna see what's going on. Town is looking as vibrant as ever. Terry Town. Hello, hello, it's me, Link, coming to visit Terry Town. This place looks pretty cool. Break it down. What is this stuff? Can I, uh, oh, I slow down when I get up there? What are, what are you what are you all about? Break it down, son and done. Sir, have you ever regretted attaching something to your weapon or shield? That's the time to tap me, Pellison, here at the Break Apart Shop. Faster you can blink zip eye, it'll be back to how it was before. Just cost 20 rupees. No, goodbye. All right, but that's a cool idea. I do appreciate the gumption or gusto or what is this? Oh, oh. Hi, Kilton. <laughs> Why, hello there, you. 
It's an honor to see your face with uh, my eyeballs once again on such a pretty, pretty day, no less. Uh, you met again with my younger brother Colton, didn't you? I can smell it. He is a bit ex eccentric, I know, I know, but I hope you'll find it inside your heart to treat him with kindness. Ah, uh, where are my manners? I have yet to greet you properly. Kilton, at your service. Once upon a time, I made goods from monster parts, you see, and traveled about selling them from my shop. But once I had saved up a tidy little nest omelet, <laughs> I gave that stall to my younger brother. Now I purchased this plot of dirt land so that I can at last make a real dream. I've dreamed since I was a wee kitten, Kilton. Sadly, it seems the president of Hudson Construction is very busy and I can't take my next step forward without him. Still, it's only a matter of time before my dream is not a thing stuck inside my skull, but a thing here in the world instead. <laughs> e, I am a quiver with excitement at the thought of it. What is your dream? The truth is, and this is just between you and me, I have adored monsters ever since I was a wee Kilton. Oh, uh, how strange. This is usually the part where you say, What? Monsters? But here you are, so sensitive to my sensitivities. I know, I know. Monsters are violent creatures and despise the world over because of it. That I can't deny. But they're also misunderstood. The way everyone hates them without even trying to understand them, pitiful. Tragic. And so I will educate the world about monsters. And once the world understands monsters, they will love monsters. That is my dream. But for my plan to succeed, I require the assistance of the finest carpenter in all the land, Hudson. Hee <laughs> hee, as soon as Hudson is done with his other business, you must come back. I promise you a monstrous spectacle the likes of which no one has seen before. All right, so we got to get Hudson on board with whatever he's up to. This is a house. I'm just going to go in it. Not a big deal. I'm going to try to go in the proper way. Okay, what is this house all about? Anyone here? Oh, this is another floor. No idea. This is a statue to pray to. Oh my, it's a traveler, darling. Terrytown has grown quite popular after all. It's all thanks to President Mudson. Hudson, darling, not Mudson. You shouldn't forget a founder of Terrytown, Hudson. He's the president of Hudson Construction who built this town. Yeah, didn't they open an office around here? Right over there, I guess. There it is. Over there, darling. It's a place where the sign you always mistake for Hudson uh, and... Wait. It's the place with the sign you always, you always mistake for Hudson and say hello to. Sorry about that. My husband has been getting more forgetful lately. Never mind us. Please enjoy your visit. All right, let's see what this is. This must be an inn, because there's a moon on it. I don't want to stay at your inn. But I'll talk to you just in case, I guess. Anything up here that looks interesting? The outside again. Where do you sleep in your inn? I guess you had beds down there. I just want to talk. See if there's anything I need to know. Oh. Ah, customer, how interesting that you should arrive at this particular time to seek me out this time of day, if I may dare assume. You must be a Hylian of the nocturnal variety. Yes, this is a village where many different folks gather. I offer pleasant sleep to all, regardless of their rank or where they come from. It's by the mercy of the goddess Hylia, O oh, humble servant led here by destiny, are you in need of a place of respite? No, a waterbed. Ah. Uh, it is a spectacle, spe special bed that ensures the best sleep possible by maintaining your posture according to your anatomy. Compared to a regular bed, it offers your mind and body an awakening that is very vital. Farewell. <laughs> Farewell. Farewell. Lots of different peoples are here. What's this? I don't know. What are you doing? Sun and done. <laughs> Quick and quality, blink and we're done. Dream homes, the envy of every son. Oh. oh, excuse me, do you have business with Hudson Construction? If you need to speak with the president, he and his wife are a little busy right now. Gross. <laughs> this is just between you and me. It sounds like there's a bit of conflict in the family. You see Hudson and his daughter, they... Oh, her name is Madison. Lovely girl. Anyway, wait, let me start this over. Because of his wife's village's customs... Oh, she's Gerudo, by the way. Her name is Ronson. Hudson recruited her when he built this village, so... Oh, no, look at me talking about things that are none of my business. And to his complete stranger. Please forget everything I just said. True. True, I will. 
So let's uh, let's check it out anyway. Whatever. You two lovers quarrel. Oh. Just yesterday, she was talking about it happily. Perhaps you're overthinking it. Though I do understand. I know you're worried about Madison moving. Mm. Minari told me that Madison has been acting real cheerful lately. I can't help but wonder if she's, you know, just putting on a bold face. After all, she's going to be picked up soon. Oh. Please, if you keep acting like this, it will only make it more difficult for Madison to leave. This is a once-in-a-lifetime journey for a Gerudo. You should support her and give her a grand send-off. Mm. You're right, of course. It's a special journey, and we should do something big for her. Huh? Ah, customer! Welcome to Hunter Construction. Let me guess, you're in the market for a dream home, right? That's no surprise. Our unique modular building style lets you put rooms together to create a perfect home. But I'm so sorry. We are still not ready to open for business. Wait, it's you! Look who it is! It sure has been a while. You know, thanks to you, Terrytown is doing real good. Nowadays, it's the kind of village that welcomes folks from all over to come and live in peace. Oh, and we have a daughter. Looks just like her papa. She's wonderful. My little Madison. Hudson, you've got to get it together. Sorry, I've got to go. We're kind of busy right now. I'm going back to work now, Ronson. But don't worry. Uh, I'll try to think of something nice to do for Madison. Madison's Independence is a side adventure. Can I come in here? That's the company storehouse. However, the door seems to be stuck and can't be opened from the outside. Maybe something's blocking it inside? Sorry, we aren't ready to open for business yet. It's a shame we're so busy, too. After all, we haven't seen you for such a long time. But right now, my hu husband and I must prepare to send my our daughter off. What am I going to do? We are we were so deep in conversation, we hardly made time for you earlier. Sorry about that. You know, here at Hudson Construction, we like to say, it's sun and done. And here I am, president of the company. I'm supposed to be strong and decisive. But when it comes to my own child, I feel so unsure about things. I mentioned her earlier. We have a daughter named Madison. She's wonderful and... All the best parts of me and my wife, Ronson. But Madison is, well, soon she's going to leave and move with, to my wife's birthplace, Gerudo Town. Ooh. The Gerudo have a law that says they can't associate with men until they come of age, you see. I mean, it's fine while well, they're very young, but when they start to become more aware of the world around them, someone comes from Gerudo Town to pick them up. I've been told that for a Gerudo, spending time in Gerudo Town is an honor. Mm. And Madison does seem to be looking forward to it. Anyway, I want to give her a big send-off, but uh, I didn't realize this would be so hard for me. Uh, sorry you had to listen to me go on and on like that. I should really get back to the job site Whoa. soon. I want to spend more time with my little girl before she has to leave, but I have so much work to do. My wife has her hands full, too, with uh, what preparing Madison for the move. She's so busy, she can't even take work requests. Mostly, I just wish someone could spend some time with Madison so she wouldn't feel so lonely. All right. Let's see what I can do. He's gone. Oh, wow, that goes somewhere. All's well. I thought, I thought it might be valuable when I picked it up, but this weird rock is giving me the creeps. I gotta hurry and find some sucker to... Hmm? Heading to construction site, huh? There's a small fee to use the rail car. I'll collect that for you. It's 20 rupees. No exceptions, but you only need to pay it once. One fee. Unlimited rides. That's a bargain. How about it? Fine. Here's 20 rupees. Very good. You're all set. Yes. Profit. Profit. The controls are simple. Just give it a whack to, to either start or stop it. You're free to use it as you please now. What's that rock? Oh, are you interested in this rock? I found it buried at the construction site. It's a rare rock, so I st I'm, I mean, I took it as a memento. <laughs> but if you are interested, I would consider selling it. Uh, for you, a special introductory offer of 100 rupees. What do you say? Not for that price. In that case, how about 80 rupees? Can you go lower? Rock for sale. It's a quest now. <gasps> hey, what are you doing? I'm negotiating. Are you trying to sell random junk for outrageous prices again? Look at that thing. It's basically just a really big piece of flint. I'd call 60. No, 50 rupees are more than fair price. But I already said an absolutely fair price. And he might have... Okay, no need for his, the stern wife look. Sai, well, what do you say? It's a real deal or just, just 50 rupees? I'll pass. Oh. Of course he isn't going to buy it after you insulted him with such a high price. Hudson made this town so that everyone could live here in peace. If you do anything to harm that beautiful vision, you won't get away with it. Ooh. You're right, you're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> It'd be funny if he just gives it to me. But I'll pay 50 or whatever. <gasps> All right, let's, uh, I'll buy the rock. I'll take it. He's actually going to buy the weird rock, rock I found. It's my lucky day. That's great. You have a good eye, sir. This is definitely a very valuable rock, so you've made a wise purchase. And now the rock belongs to you. No refunds. <gasps> it's the best. Uh, I'll place it in the back for whenever you're ready to take it to its new home. What? Where? 
in the back. Oh, right there. Okay, great. So, uh, that's cool. Uh, I'm guessing I take this. There's probably a shrine or something somewhere. Oh, well done. There is an interesting thing. Let's continue looking around before we leave. Curious what this place is. All right. <laughs> Not that curious, I guess. Um, yes. Okay, well, I'm ready to take this little journey back to the site or whatever. I need to find a way in there, I think, because I can open the door. If the Whoa, wake up, dude. <laughs> Don't be so lazy. So you got a chance to talk with President Hudson, huh? I was just out here waiting my turn to go chat with him, but... I ended up falling asleep. Oh. I came here to help clear out the Zonai devices and ruins that fell all over the workshop. Heard they could use a hand, but I'm still pretty tired. I think I'll take another little nap before I introduce myself. So there's got to be a way in. Is there a well here? Is there something here? I don't know what in the world I'm supposed to do. Is this the daughter? This looks like some notes Madison wrote for her move. Note number one. Say the Gerudo greetings clearly, smoothly, and easily. Good morning is Savatoa. Boys are Vo. Grandma is Vaba. And thank you is Sarkso. Note number two. The chief's pet is special. The chief has a really neat pet. Her name is Patricia. Patricia is a special sand seal. She can... Uh, read people's fortunes. Fortunes. No talking to Vo. Once I go to Mama's hometown, I won't be allowed to talk to Vo anymore. Mama says it's a Gerudo custom. I guess I'll just need to talk to all the Vo before I get there. Must not. I must, 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 must not cry. No crying. All right. So, what say you? <laughs> She's a funny blend of her parents. Good morning is Savatoa. Good day is Savak. And goodbye is... What is goodbye? Huh? Don't fright me like that. For a second, I thought you were here to take me away on my big journey. I'm doing all this studying because I'm moving to Mama's hometown soon. Where she's from, there's this amazing language called Gerudo. I want to teach every son in the village to speak it too, so I've made it my mission... To Miss Sun, oh, because she says it like that. Okay, that's her name. Everything one's name Sun. To memorize as many words as I can. Oh. Hey, would you like to learn some words too, Mister? If so, your timing can it be better? I'm about to give a lesson, less Sun, to Granny Minari. You should come too. After some instructions from me, you'll be speaking Gerudo in no time. <laughs> For this less Sun, I'm going to be giving a Gerudo quiz. You should try it. All right. So Madison's independence is what we're working on now. She's going to her grandma's. Is there any? Yeah, I knew there'd be a cave under here because of a, some way to get in. And if this is a real cave, there's got to be a real uh, 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 booble in here. So, booble tube. Just have to learn how to speak. But I don't know. That, I think it is a cave. There it is. Boom! That's like the first one that I've hit without an with not using an arrow. I'm guessing, and this is just a guess, that it's just up here. Let's find out. I'm in. It won't open from the inside, so what I do... Let's try to uh, move this out of the way. I mean, I don't know. I guess I'll just stack it. Sure. It's open. Ma. Oh, thank you. Not being able to open that door was really starting to annoy me. So a cutout was blocking the door. Well, I appreciate your help getting it out of the way. I'll just move those these out back so they can't go and block the door again. Great. And then where to? <laughs> that should do it. Oh. They're a bit banged up, so I was planning on throwing them out, but you're welcome to them too. 
Yeah, I need these. What would I use these for, by the way? Is there anything special about them? They seem to have the same... I don't know what I would use them for, honestly. Not now, anyway. Let's go do our lessons. Learn some Gerudo or whatever. Where are the grandparents? Over here. It's less sun time. Hi. Granny Minari, Savak. Oh my, you're in a good mood today, Madison. Is it time for another lesson? Hi. Of course, it's a special occasion too, because a new student is joining the class. Hi. Okay, now pay attention, son, Granny Minari. It's time for Madison's Gerudo quiz. What is the Gerudo word for granny? Oh. Granny in Gerudo is, uh, Baba? Oh. Ding, 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 that's right. You're doing really good. Maybe you've done this before. Uh, ah, yes, yeah. Vaba. It was on the tip of my tongue. Well, now there's one more Gerudo speaker around here. Thanks to Madison, I've grown rather knowledgeable about the language myself, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's how they talk in Mama's hometown. So if every son can talk like that here, well, then Mama won't be so lonesome, right? Oh. I feel better knowing Mama will be okay, but now I need to think of a way to help Papa. <laughs> I've got it. Papa is always so busy, so I'll make it my Mish son to help him with his work. Okay, I'm gonna go ride the rail car to the job site where he does all of his work. Me too, except I'm gonna bring... Oh, there's a cave over there. Is that a cave? Oh, Madison, she she had to grow up too quickly. At her age, she should not be she should be clinging to her mom and papa's legs, not working up a sweat trying to make sure they're happy. Then again, maybe she won't have to. Ever since Haggy was put in charge of the rail car, it's become a whole lot harder to catch a ride. Is this a cave? I just noticed this. It just looks like a cave. I thought I thought for a second it might be a cave. So we'll ride the rail car. I'll bring that that stone thing with me that I bought in hopes that it's down there. And uh, let's see. I'll just, you know, whatever. Put it right in the middle. Let's go. Here we go. Oh, is it that too heavy? I can see it being too heavy, honestly. Whoa! All right, this job site looks pretty interesting. And we're getting off right here. And like I said, I don't know where this goes, but. But I don't know where it goes. Where does this go? All right, what's up? Son and done. Hey, it's rare to have visitors at the workshop. Were you looking for the entrance to Terrytown? If you're going there, the rail car right in front should come in handy. The rail car? It's a <laughs> suspended car that'll take you from this workshop to Terrytown like Son and Done. It's President Hudson's pride and joy. It doesn't cost anything to use, so use it whatever you like. <laughs> I got scammed out of this. <laughs> You see the buildings atop the cliff? That's Terrytown. That's where the business desk is for Hudson Construction, where I work. Ah, uh, we, we get it. Yeah, use the rail mm. car. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. I know. I know. I skipped a lot. I'm so upset that he took that from me. What? This thing is what? Are you interested in this too? Yeah, this thing's cool. Oh. Look at this, it seems like there might be things inside. I wonder if we can get them out. This thing fell from the sky at the, at the time of the upheaval. But what is it and where did it come from? I'll show you, this is easy. This is easy, my friend. I do this all the time. Let's hold five of them, dump them in. Put it in, put it in. And then, there we go. Huh? That's what those things are? There are zone 9 devices inside this thing. Yeah, dude. I think, yes, I actually think this might possibly be a truly amazing discovery, probably. And contraptions like this one uh, have shown up in places other than just Terrytown. Kakariko Village in Nakluta, south of here has one, and there's one in the southwest too, at the Dig Dog Bridge near the entrance to the Gerudo region. Could it be that 
the types of Zonai devices inside each area's contraption are different? Ah. Questions require answers. We've got to investigate the other contraptions. But before that, I feel the need to ceremoniously award you for your big discovery. Sunderlion, thanks for the flower. Ah. I found it while investigating some fallen ruins. It's rare and was never seen before the upheaval, so its properties are something of a, of a mystery. But there's a research team studying the plant in Kakariko Village that's to the south of here in Nakluda. If you want to learn more about it, you might try talking to them. Ah. Anyway, I'm off uh, to more big adventures and discoveries. Hope to see you again. Thanks. All right. Can I... Can't recall that lid. It'd be funny if I could just... Up there. What did I get here, by the way? Let's look at the map. Okay. Cool. A huge, huge amount of things. Sunderlion up there, too. Uh, yeah, lots of things here. I guess they're working on. What's up, dude? Time to work, rain or shine. I'll work till I can't work no more. I'm sure I asked HQ to send a Goron to come help. Ah, whatever. Someone's helping, and that's all that matters for now. Name's Sanson. I'm the leader of the Unobo Co. boys here at that Hudson Construction task with cleaning up. <clears throat> this place is gathering a lot of attention. I heard it's being referred to as the Zonai Treasure Trove. And there's still more stuff falling from the sky. It's not showing any signs of slowing. Mm -hmm. Wait, you don't know Hudson Construction, so you weren't sent here to help? <laughs> As the leader of the Unobo Co. workers out here, I'm sworn to keep my mouth shut. You're not getting nothing out of me, Unobo Co. Mm -hmm. Wait, you don't know about Unobo Co.? So you weren't sent here to help? Yeah, so... No. Nothing out of him. So... Am I supposed to just take this stuff? There you go. I don't know. Maybe it's stuck here, and then, you know, whatever. I'll help. I'll help get it out. It's like raining in just one little part, dude. Oh, here's another piece. I know, I know. Come on. There we go. <laughs> am I supposed to clean all this stuff out? Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, am I supposed to do this? What is this? This a cave? This could be a cave. There you go, it's a cave. Oh wow. Huh. I don't know what to do about this. This one's definitely one of the weirder situations I've been in here. Because I don't know how to get out. Or whatever. I don't know what to do. There's got to be another entrance. Maybe I just don't know what the other entrance is. Yet. I don't know... Am I supposed to be doing this? Or is this this is probably not even a mission? I don't know. Let's go look over here for a second. Yeah, this is no. I don't know. Oh, there's the well. I bet that well connects to the cave. Let me just go peek over here really quick. What? Talk to me. Talk to me. Goron City is back in business. All right, so he's talking about getting back to work. You a traveler, the ground is uneven. I'm going in. Is this the same? Oh, there we go. I hear this guy. Ah, oh, crap. Boom. 
I bet the well leads there. I don't know. I mean, I don't really need to go that way, but hey. But hey. It's another cave, right? Another cave down. Because we got a booble gem out of the deal. It's weird that it was raining in just that one little sliver of land. Let me try the well. There's like one of like everything here, dude. I... All right. And then, yeah, okay. So I just picked up a bomb. There you go. I guess I could have ascended. I didn't think about that. And then just maybe break through with this cobble crusher. There you go, as thought. As thought, I get more of these small wheels, fan, steering stick, rockets. It's all good, man. And then, where do we, no, ah, dang it. I hate clicking the wrong button when I do that. Let's get out of here. And then, uh, what else is going on in Terrytown? We got... What is this up here? Okay. There seems to be just like a lot of stuff we can make. That's up to standard. Hello. Looks like you're hard at work. Huh? Who are you? This is Hudson Construction Site. We're doing critical work that can't be done anywhere else. It's no place for civilians. Uh, not to mention the falling ruins. Those are incredibly dangerous. You really shouldn't be here. Critical work. More Zonai artifacts fall here than anywhere else. It's completely unrivaled. Look, see that? Only three have been found on the surface. To someone on the Zonai survey team, a site like this is a dream come true. Imagine rare research materials just falling into your lap. Incredible. Anyway, this is Hudson. This is a Hudson construction work site. No civilians allowed. Got it. If you're headed to Terrytown, the other rail car. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's go check out over here. I don't know where like the shrine thing will be, but. All right. You trick test, it's like I told you. Furnison, this isn't what we agreed to. We left the desert and trekked all the way here because you said we get to drive a vehicle that like no one's ever seen before. And now that we're here, the only vehicle that you've got is some piece of junk that no one can control? What kind of fools do you take us for? Uh. You've got it all wrong. It's like I said before, I'm working with Hudson Construction to make vehicles out of Zonai devices and other debris that fell from the sky. And yes, it's true. We haven't figured out how to control these vehicles, but that's why we asked you here. We're hoping professional racers like the two of you can offer some guidance. Uh. So what, what's, what are you even talking about? We, we're racers, not scholars, okay? Don't try to confuse us with your fancy words. Oh. Hmm, you found nothing among these zoning devices capable of controlling your vehicles? Mm. Sadly, no. None of, none of the devices we found here in Terrytown work. Ah. Hey, 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 I'm standing right here. Don't cut me out of this little chit-chat. Didn't you say those Zona thingamabobs are from the Age of Legends? You're trying to tell me that something that old and run down is still useful, please. Oh. We did come all the way here. It couldn't hurt to put our heads together. Besides, it's important for, for a racer to know her ride as well as she knows her own hands. Wasn't it you who taught me that, Shabon? Oh. <laughs> huh. Fine. If Tally wants to help, then help is what we'll do. Master the vehicle prototype. Where's that girl and her dad? Huh. 
so confused. So what prototype do we have here? I mean, I have. I mean, are there... Con okay, let's see what's over here. They're everywhere. A, a nuanced understanding of the strange power of the Zonai civilization would broaden the scope of the practical application of the devices. Ah. Oh, apologies, I was lost in thought. The Zonai devices here all fell from the sky. I'm, I've surveyed various regions, but I haven't seen devices in this quantity anywhere but Terrytown. Mm -hmm. My research into practical application is progressing well. I've studied the Zonai civilization for a long time. To us Zonai-obsessed research team members, this place is paradise. Ah. You're free to take what you please. Removal will not hinder my research. Hmm, for so many Zonai devices to be concentrated in one area, could, there, could they still be in production on the Sky Islands? How is that even possible? Yeah, what is directly above here? We, we've been there, right? Yeah, we've been here. I don't know why it's so focused here. But we've been here. Uh, up there, I mean. Where's the girl and her dad? That's what I don't get. I thought they were coming this way. So confused. Uh, well, let's. Oh, there's your dad. Okay, hold on. But let's let's talk to him. A zonai device could. Mm. We figured out how to use. We figured out a use for the wheel like zonai device. But what else can we do with these things? Oh, hey there. You here to check up on me? Ooh. It's nice you come all the way to the construction site. But I'm all right. I just hope it inspires Madison to see her papa working hard. Anyway, I've been looking at ways to make use of the Zonai devices that have fallen around here. It's all part of this development project I'm doing with the folks of the Zonai survey team. Ooh. Well, for starters, these balloons, the Zonai survey team, uh, those balloons the Zonai survey team is using, uh, we made them. You see, there's this Zonai device that floats when you add heat. We attach a basket to these things, and then folks can jump in and go for a ride. And right now, we're working on these vehicles that use a wheel-like device, but the, this device rotates automatically. Mm. Truthfully, we've got the vehicle base down, but safety and handling is still an issue. Can't say they're practical yet. Ooh. We set aside the northern end of the construction site for vehicle development. If you're curious about that, that stuff, chat with Furnison. She's the survey team member in charge over there. Ah, uh, but you'll have to wait. She's busy working with some experts we invited to help out. All right. What's my, what's my mission right now? Master the vehicle prototype. Okay. How to control it. Now, I don't know if anything has fallen that, you know, can control it. But the, the good news is that I have, uh, you know, a control thing. So we can master this wheel prototype or whatever by me just putting in a uh, control thing. I'm assuming that's what it is. So I go here. Uh, I have 36 of these, so I'll take one out. I'm guessing I just put it on. And be happy about it. <laughs> hey now, that vehicle is a prototype. Please do not touch. Hold on. <laughs> what? Incredible. Just, just look at it. It's perfect. I have no doubt that Zonai device was made for steering. Ah, so sorry for shouting. Mm. Are you new to Hudson Construction? My name is Furnace, and I'm collaborating with Hudson on a Zonai device research project. It's a pleasure to meet you. But more importantly, this Zonai device of yours? Ooh. It seems like it could be used for steering things, doesn't ah. it? Please, could you show us exactly uh, this device is capable of? Wait. I don't get it. That weird thing is going to make it that huge contraption move. Say all the fancy words and silly jargon you like, but I'll believe it when I see it with my own two eyes. Mm. Quickly, I must see. Uh, if we're going to do this, let's get it right. Hold on a minute while I get everything ready for a test drive. Mm. Let's see. Hmm, I think I flipped the switches here and there, and yes. Ah. Okay, ta-da. It's a test drive course, you see. Those pillars of light, they disappear when you touch them, so here's what i like you to do. Touch all the lights and return to where you started within the time limit. Do that, and we'll call the test drive as a success. Until now, we've never been able to steer the thing properly, but if this device works, <laughs> we'll have to build another new vehicle, and one that's completely different from the balloon. Oh, I almost forgot. During the test drive, don't let go of the steering device or go too far off course. We won't be able to retrieve the driving data if you do that. Yeah. Everything is ready now. If you don't mind, I'd like you to give it a try. I'll do it. Yeah. Then let's get started. Go ahead and board the vehicle. All right, I'm on. Let's go. Oh. 
Now let me quickly remind you of the rules. It's simple, really. Just touch all the lights and return to the starting point within the time limit. Oh, and don't go off. The, don't let go of the steering device or go too far off course. We can't get the driving data we need if you do that. Got it. Finally, things are getting interesting around here. You better believe I'll be keeping a close eye on your technique. Mm. Hurry. I'm hurrying. What? Control. Let's go. All right. Three minutes. I got this. This seems a little too generous. This is easy. Now if I have to do it again and again and again, then maybe we have a different story. I don't know. Super duper easy. What the heck? Why, is, why was that so easy? Finished. Okay. All right, I don't believe it. I never thought something so big could be steered so easily. Ah. Ooh, technique like this is enough to get anyone fired up. Don't you think, Tally? <laughs> no one who loves racing could watch that and not feel excited. Eh? We can finally move on to the next phase. See, this is just the beginning of my experiments. I must figure out the Zonai device's full capabilities. And, ah, I'm counting on you to help me out. Here, please consider, consider this a down payment. So, 100 silver rupees. <laughs> You're now an official member of our team. Oh, also, you're welcome to have this. A sleepover ticket, okay? Ah. Um, so, now what happens? Oh. Head straight down the road. You can't miss it. Oh, for the stable. Mm. You must be exhausted from driving such a strange machine. Go get some rest in a comfy bed. While you do that, I'll get to work on the next phase of our project. I, I hope I'm, you're as excited about it as I am. Yeah. See, the vehicle is up and running, so don't accuse me of trying to trick you anymore. My goal has always been to start work on the Terrytown Race Project, and I can finally do just that. Now, it's time for me to start preparing a test course. Ah. As long as we get to do some racing, you won't hear any complaints from us. <laughs> the Terrytown Race. Hmm, yes, I'm looking forward to it. All right, so... They want me to... Go get some sleep? Is that what they want? Time to get some sleep? In a bed. Where's the bed? Is there a bed here? I don't think there's a bed here. I don't want to go all the way back. Can I sleep on the couch? The dining table? I don't know where in the world some of this stuff is, but... Hmm, I do wonder where that shrine goes. Are there any beds here? Huh. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I could go... I Well, this is kind of a weird position to be in. I don't really know where to go. But hey, I'll be right back. All right, I am back. So I'm actually going to get out of here. I think and go up to that shrine if I can. Uh, I should be able to make something really cool to help me out, maybe. Uh, I have one of those. I have an, one of these. There's a lot of stuff here. These things keep reappearing in... I mean, I already dug them out. But I have this. <laughs> And then, hold on, let me go back to the vehicle then. Um, yeah, this might be the better thing to do. So there's still this vehicle over here. Oh, there's a control stick over here. I didn't need to use my own control stick. Anyway, my point is, check this out. I'm gonna use Alter Hand, make this. Right here. Of course. There's one, two. You're welcome. Build it. Then let me out. Because I am going to fly to the shrine. Where's the shrine? Over there. This will be in lieu of... Uh, where am I going, by the way? This will be in lieu of... Uh, of napping. I'll just go to a shrine. And then maybe by the time I get back, she'll be ready for me to race again or something. Right? That'd be cool. Alright. I could probably upgrade my battery again. I need to spend a little more time in the depths. 
I get my batteries full. Who's this? What's your story? Ow. Dream home, son, and what? Ah. Hi, hey, hello, uh, you're in luck, we're building dream homes. This plot will soon be a first-rate home with sweeping views of Akala. A dream home of this caliber comes with a hefty price tag, but I assure you every rupee is well worth it. To learn more, I uh, just head northwest of Terrytown and visit Hudson Construction. So this could be my home site, is what you're saying, and then, uh, I guess. And not only that, but that's the, my shrine. You know what, I don't need to build, I just need to climb, I bet. Yeah, let's just go. The old-fashioned way. Because Zelda took my other house. I don't know what happened there, but typical. Alright, let's uh, do this shrine. And get back to the races. Let's get a little drink. Oh no. Another battle here. Proving grounds vehicles. That sounds interesting already. Got some sticks. It's a big stick. There's a vehicle there. Well bam! Nothing inside really. What do I do with the vehicles though? Like what's the point of the vehicles? Give me your stick. Boom! I don't really understand what the point of the vehicles is. But I could take one of these out, hold, and drop, and then fuse with this, and boom. I don't know why vehicles. That's my main thing. I don't really understand why there are vehicles here. Oh, you have arrows? You have arrows? Gotcha. I have a bow, then. Okay, this guy, whoa! I mean, they're really chasing me. Get out of here. Pop! All right, what other weapon is this? This is a flame emitter club. Dead. Excellent, I'll take that before it burns up. I don't really understand the point of the vehicles. There you go, pop them in the eye. All right, anything up here? I mean, I just don't get the vehicles. I mean, I, I understand what vehicles are, but I just don't really get the point of the vehicles, you know what I mean? Like, I know, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Dang it. There you go. Oof, whoa, hey buddy, hey buddy. I know, there's one. I know. Hey, you know what? I have one too. Get out of here. I hear three eyes. That wasn't very strong. Oh, this is 13? Are you joking, kidding me? There you go. Amazing. This looks pretty strong too. Oof, big hit. Doesn't really matter though, I got you. Uh, this is the last construct, so boom. Answer me, why vehicles? Why are vehicles here? All right, my equipment's returned to me. Good for me. And then, um, I guess we gotta find treasure. There it is. Why vehicles? I guess it doesn't matter. Let's go over here. Uh, magic 
rod. I have to drop something in order to get this, so... I guess I'll just drop this. Star Fragment Staff, Magic Rod. Let me pick up... I, I got the treasure though, right? So I can drop the Magic Rod now, right? Yes, good. No, we don't need to travel there because I'm here. Drop, and then pick up the staff. And then what does the staff do? Light. Whoa. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't even know. All right, cool. Let's check out. And then we will, uh, yeah, here we go. Light of Blessing, is this number one? Yeah, because I cashed, I cashed in for a heart, by the way. I probably did that off camera, but I have another heart, in case you guys are wondering. Okay, so we did this shrine. We could probably go back to the Terrytown place or whatevs. And uh, I, don't know what that, I bet that's a cave right there. Look at the map. Hold on, I'll show you. I bet there's a cave right here. Look at this. It's like water, but then boom. And that's just, well, that's kind of far. How far is it? What is that down there? That's a tree. It's not that far. It's still dark. Let's kind of make our way that way. I just want to see it. We'll just kind of go the long way. Of course, I may not be able to get back. I might have to build something else. And then I hope when I build my house, I can have a garage that has like all my vehicles in. That'd be so cool. I can make some really cool vehicles. Shoot, shrine nearby. What's that over there? Yep. Gleok or whatever. That's a shrine this way. It's probably right. Maybe maybe that mark that I left on the shrine before was like a Huh. Nearby down below. Oh, well, if there's a cave, actually, yeah, that makes sense now. If there's a cave here, then the, there's probably a shrine right down there. Let's do it. Let's see what we got. I bet you anything this is a cave. Oh, wait. What the heck? Oh! Wait, wait, what? This is, this is probably the thing the guy was selling. That makes sense now, I guess. But how am I gonna get all the way over here? Oh dear. Huh. Yeah, dude, I don't know. How do I get, dude, what? Is there even a, there's not even like a shrine near Terrytown. Actually there is. It's right here. <laughs> Right above it. Let's see. I'll probably have to build a really cool vehicle or boat or something to get across. And that's fine. Because, I mean, all that stuff is there. But I guess what I really want to do is just do some more racing. Get my home built or something. This is the closest one to this place, which is funny to me. And, yeah, we're going right into Terrytown. Awesome. Oh, they're, they're getting that course set up. Look at that. Where's my dude? Oh, yeah, they don't show up in towns. It's like, where's Toolin? All right, you guys got it? Terrytown Race is a go. You're the traveler, traveler from before. I knew you couldn't stay away. Take a look at this. That looks great. <laughs> With the help of Hudson Construction, we built a course for test driving vehicles. These runs will help us better research the steering stick's capabilities. So welcome to the Terrytown race. Ah. I am so grateful you found the steering stick. Now I can get to work on the project I'm most excited about, the Terrytown race. Thank you, really. <laughs> With Tally as our test driver, we spent a lot of time tinkering with the course design, and we arrived at this masterpiece. Oh. Watching you drive the course was very informative, I'm grateful. Sarkso. Mm -hmm. Drivers have to use the steering stick we, we, we provide. It's the only way I can collect the data I need. As far as this vehicle itself, anything goes. Use whatever you like. 
Now, if you're up for it, I'd love to see you do some driving. Uh? While you're at it, why not spice things up with a little competition? Say you versus Tally? She used to be called the Dame of the Dunes, you know. If you can beat her best time, well, then you win. <laughs> yes, yeah, not a bad idea. Oh. Sounds like fun, doesn't it? If I recall correctly, Tally's best time is two minutes exactly. So how about it? Want to see? Of course. Of course. Yeah. See if I can beat Tally's record. I apologize. I got excited. I can't help but woo and who when I get excited. <laughs> so once you've ready the vehicle you plan to use in the race, go ahead and attach the steering stick we prepared. Oh. Since you'll be helping us collect data, any zone device or building material you find around here is yours to use. Just let me know when everything is ready. All right. So this will be really interesting. What does this book say about it, though? Rules. All lights, letting go of the device are going too far off course will result in failure. All right, so that's really interesting. Let's see rules. Uh, so I have, I mean, I have a really good, you know, they kind of have something already here for me that looks pretty cool. I kind of want to just be basic though, you know, just like really, really honestly be basic and just like go with something like this cart with like, I don't know, like a, a fan on the back of it or something. I don't know. What do you think about that? I think that could I think that could work. This with the fan? Maybe. I'm a little bit worried though, but kinda want this with the with the Let's try you know, let's just try my idea. This with the fan. One fan. Just keep it light. Plain, simple. And then let's use this. If this doesn't work, then I'll just cry about it a little bit, you know? I'm ready, dude. <laughs> the vehicle looks good. Ready to begin? Of course. All right, so we're good to begin. And I just got to, how many lights do I got to hit? Two minutes. Activate the switch for the course. Let's see us. Okay. Hey. I know the rules. Two minutes exact. Don't go too far off course. Uh. Okay. All right. I think the fan really helps. Is this water? I didn't realize it being water. But this seems to be working out just fine, so I guess I should be happy about it. A little rough, but I think we got this. Now that's less than a minute, my friends. That's a good record, dude. Are you kidding me? I want to see her do it. Whoa. I can't believe it. You actually broke Tally's record. Here, this is my way of thanking you for helping us collect so much valuable race data. So I charge times three. <laughs> Who'd have thought a Vogue could race like that? <laughs> All right, I'll say it. That was some brilliant driving. Oh. Your master of the steering stick was impressive. Well done. Ooh. Well, well, well. How about it? It's not often Tally has so much to say. Seems like uh, her next great rivalry has begun. I'm honored to witness the beginning. Yeah. After seeing how you optimize your racing line, I feel like you're ready for something a bit more challenging. You and I should talk. Come and see me later, will you? All right. The Terrytown race is on. So see her later. Uh, I could make the thing that gets me to that shrine, but now I don't know where the dude went. Where is he here? Hudson, what's up, dude? Ah. Do you have the capacity to build another order of balloons, and would you be open to accommodating a few design requests? Oh. Of course, we'll do whatever we can to help with your research. Uh -huh. Thank you. Oh, and how's Madison? I hear she's moving soon. Uh. Madison, sigh. Oh, Madison. Uh. P President Hudson, I, I forget forget I said anything. Mm -hmm. Oh. Sorry about that. We were having a chat. I didn't notice you there. Ooh. It's nice of you to come all the way to, to the construction site, but I'm all right. I just hope it inspires Madison. I've heard this before. Development project. Ooh. All right. Yes. Mm. Ooh. 
We've set aside the northern end of the construction site for vehicle development. Sounds like they finally found a way to control the vehicles. That means we can start testing them out for real. Okay, so furnace. So we got to keep doing this furnace and stuff, I guess. And uh, that's fine because I need to bring that over there somehow. Bring it back and I'll make a boat or something. That's going to probably be the best way to do it. Make a boat to go over there. And... Uh, Something with a stick in the fan, you know? So let's see how we do. This is a real, real slow moving device. But I feel like they did the best they could, I guess. Right, so. <laughs> I mean, a boat is just like a raft with a fan, right? That's all it is. And a control stick. So I'll make something. I'll make something happen. We'll get there, don't worry. We probably need like a kind of a bigger type of thing if we're going to uh, be carrying this, this gym with me. That's mine. Thank you. <laughs> It's coming back with me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's funny. All right. And then I'm just going to dump it out over here. Dump myself out. So let's make a, a raft. A big raft. So that I can control this. Oh, yeah, I can't go in the middle because of... Well, that's kind of the middle. And then we need a couple fans, right? Or just one. Just one fan will suffice, I suppose. And then uh, let's do the steering stick. This might be too big, honestly, but whatever. And then we'll just take it out. Perfect. Let's go. Move, ducks. <laughs> I made kind of a wide, but I mean, I really didn't need to be this wide. But here it is. This looks pretty good, I'd say. Unless the path narrows somehow. I think I'm going to take it this way. Yeah, this is pretty chill. And then now... Uh, let's see here. Such a slow move, but this works. Put the shrine over there. I don't know if this would just be a Raru's blessing or what, but. And then we gotta get back. All right. It really does seem interesting that the fastest travel to Terrytown is like from the sky above. This might be a Raru's blessing. I don't know. It took a while to get here. So they, they tend to like to be like, hey. Like, hey, you did a good job. Just just solving this. So you get a freebie, basically, is what they do. Yep. Knew it. Knew it. Raru's blessing. And diamond. Nice. Okay. Great, 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 great. I'll take it. Now we got to go back and do whatever we're going to do. I don't know if it's with balloons or whatever. They had an idea of to run by me or something. I broke the record. Like, man, I broke it big time. It was no joke. Like, they were proud of me. I could tell. They're like, wow, this guy knows what he's doing when it comes to steering and using control sticks. 
This guy knows. That's what they said. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so, let's go back. Uh, and again, the easiest way to do it, sadly, is just this. And then, because I mean, I can't just swim back I have to make a boat, but my boat's not even here anymore, so. Plus, it would just be, anyway. I have 94 shrines. Is that what that means? Let's go. Landing, and we're landing pretty much at the construction site. So what are they working on now? Try for no. Uh, well, you see, operating expenses for this Terrytown race are a bit tight. So, uh, what I'm trying to say is, we're now going to charge an entry fee of 10 rupees per run. Exciting news. Thrilling even. Yes? No? Sorry. Perhaps exciting is the wrong word. It's a difficult announcement to make, and I can see that giving it a cheery spin did not help. But still, we have the expert course, which I believe is worth trying even if you do have to pay a fee. And of course, I'll reward you if we're, if we're able to get good data. So, I'm confident the experience will be well worth 10 rupees. Alright, sure. I'm game. All right. Pay right before you start. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to build the same vehicle. Ah. I like to see the course. Mm. The expert course. <laughs> so I wasn't even ready. Uh. Okay. I'm curious about it too. <laughs> All right. Seems fine, right? What's the catch? Yeah, let me go upstairs really quick. It might be a little tough is the thing. And then I also might have to make some really tight turns, which might make that vehicle not as viable as I would like it to be. So yeah, I mean, it's a lot more of those. So yeah, so the, the problem with that vehicle is that it was a really tight turn. Okay, yeah, t turn off the course lights, whatever. I'm going to make the vehicle. All right, so. Man, I really don't know how to... How to... Okay, so. Hmm. Maybe I'll build it without the fan. The fan was great. But maybe I'll just do it without the fan. Or maybe I'll do the fan again. Maybe I'll do the You know what? I'll just do it with the fan. Whatever. If it's too fast, it's too fast. But don't let go of the stick, right? Alright, let's see if I can do this expert course. I might I might have to I might not, not be able to do the expert course, but. Alright, here we go. My vehicle's ready. Uh, I'm game. Yeah. The expert course. Mm. Wait, what's the time limit on the expert course? Uh. I'm not so sure what to do. Oy. Three minutes. Oh my gosh. That's easy. I think it's gonna be easy. Okay. Does anyone think that three minutes is going to be super easy? Now, I guess the thing I am worried about is making these turns. But if I have three minutes to do it. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. We're fine. Oh, also my batteries. Yikes. My batteries are going to be an issue. I'm going to have to eat some Zonite charges, I think. Oh, great. Uh, this is going to be hard. Hold on. All right, I missed, did I miss one over there? Oh, what's over here? Maybe I won't have to.
I don't know how I missed that. The fact I get three minutes is a godsend. Oh, there's one. What is, what is happening? Okay, hold on. Hold on one second. Alright. I think I can make this still. Yeah, we're gonna make it. It's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna be like an amazing time. It's not gonna be under a minute like it was last time, but this isn't bad. New record for me. All right, so what's the, what's the deal? Congratulations, I can't believe you cleared the expert course. I should have expected as much from a Vo tally respects. Here, please, I want you to have this memento for beating the expert course for the first time. A large zone I charge, nice. Feel like giving another go? I'm not interested in another go. All right, we're good. Try for a new record, I think we're good. So, what now? What what do I need to do about this whole, the Terry, we did the Terrytown race. Do we have any Madison's Independence? Oh. Wait, so she wasn't, okay. I thought I had to do that. So she's not, she was headed for the rail car. Okay, I get it, I get it. Let me just go this way. I think it'll be, it'll be quicker if I just go this way. Or wait. Wait, 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 wait. I'm so confused. Hold on. Let's just get on. Let's just get on this. Actually, a question. What happens? Can I make this rail car faster? Because that'll be fun. Let's make the rail car a little faster. All right, there's, uh, hold on. There we go. And then uh, there's probably a rocket too, right? Where's a rocket? <laughs> Another fan, there's a rocket. Here we go. This could be fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, this is just for fun. This is just for me, like, hey, let's make it better. Let's power it up, my friends. And then, uh. <laughs> All right, what else can we do? Uh, what's this? How about another one? Just like attach another one to it. There we go. Yeah, how about that? That may not work. That might be a bit much. Whatever, let's give it a go. Actually, no, that seems off. Forget about this piece. We got a better piece, let's go. Oof. Wait for me, oh wow. Oh, geez. I broke it. <laughs> I broke it. The rail car? Okay, well, you know what? Fine. We're out with this rail. Oh, but you know what? I can just pick it back up. I'm surprised I broke it, though, so easily. Uh, here. Excuse me. Back up. I'm going to try it again with the... Uh... Oh, crap. Okay, hold on. All right, rail car. Let's try again. So just just the fan will make it. Oh oh, dude! I'm what the heck, dude! I didn't realize I was blowing it the wrong way. 
Wow, I'm so dumb. I didn't realize it was going the wrong way. There we go. That'll be a little faster. That's probably what messed it up. Sometimes I'm not very good at this. But we can always put another one on. I wonder how fast we can make this rail car. I am curious about it. I kind of want to just like keep putting fans on it until it's just amazing. Uh, let's see. So she was over here, I guess. Dang it. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Here we are. Stop. All's well. So she's over here. Or is she? It sounds like my husband is really busy at the construction site. He won't be able to leave for a while. Not too long ago, we had to work late several days in a row, and Madison got really upset about it. Finally, I decided to take her to the construction site using the rail car. All right, she'd been so upset the, until that point, but when she saw her father working hard, she said, Papa has such a dedicated son, I should be more like him, so I'll stop crying and be more patient. That was the moment, I think, she saw how hard her dad was working and decided to start working hard herself, too. But don't tell him that story. It would probably get, go to his head. What am I do? Where is she? What do I do? I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. Oh, there she is. All right, are we getting on the rail car or what? I want to ride the rail car so I can get to Papa's construction site and help him get his work done, but I forgot the guy won't give me permission to ride unless I pay him. It's free, though. I never had to pay until he took over. Guess I'm going to have to hop aboard the rail car without him noticing. But how am I going to do that all by myself? What I need is for someone to maybe cover his eyes or something. All right, Madison's independence. Let's go. So I have these now, which is kind of funny. So I'll just kind of uh, maybe attach these together. Right. Uh, dang it. All right. How about this? <laughs> Let's go. You can go now. <laughs> All right, here we go. Run straight there. Do I need to get on too, or is she just gonna take it? Oh, here she goes. Oh, my fan's gone. I think, maybe it's still there. I did it, my miss son was a success. Yeah, I can finally get to Papa. Okay, I'm off. He's gonna be happy to see me. Let's go see what's happening. There she goes. I'm just gonna leave that there. I don't really need the cart, honestly. Like, if you just look, it just, I can just glide on in. And my fan, they took off my fan. The fan was my favorite part. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. So she's over here with her daddy now. Hmm. Hey, you didn't meet Min, son, you were coming here too, mister. It's strange. Papa keeps mumbling to himself. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Ooh. Oh, it's you. So you know I've been doing a lot of thinking, trying to figure out what I could possibly do for Madison. Ooh. And well, what I came up with is this. Gerudo Town is pretty far from here, and there are plenty of monsters along the way. So I thought I'd make Madison her own special air balloon. Mm. But I want to make it really special, something just for her. I'm just not sure how to do that. Special or not, I love the balloon you made, Papa. It looks like the sun. The sun. That's it. Let's color it yellow like the sun. 
I've seen Sunderlions around here. I could use them to make a dye, but I get a beautiful shade of yellow from them. But for me to dye something this size, I need 10 of them. Oh. You need Sunderlions, Papa? Those are the bright yellow flowers, right? I'll make finding them my new Miss Sun. I appreciate the thought, but it's too much. It's much too difficult. Sunderlions are quite rare. It's not even. I'm not even sure where you'd find them. Don't worry. I've seen a Sunderlion before. I, it was attached to the ruins that fell from the sky. The sky, huh? Well, here's your Sunderlions, my dude. Uh, here's ten of them. Huh? That's awesome. You did it. You really and truly collected ten of them. What's this? You found them all for us? Looks like I'll have no problem dyeing the balloon the color of the sun. Uh, I wasn't able to help at all. I fail my miss, son. No, no, no. That's not true, Madison. Your papa is about to turn this balloon into the sun, isn't he? I know. Why don't you help me with that? I will. I will, papa. I'll help you make the sun. Great. Make the sun, Madison. <laughs> That's why every son chooses huts and construction. Son. All right. What do we got? At last, all done, and morning is already here. I'm just happy I get to watch my little one sleep a little bit longer. Oh. Hudson. Mm. Oh, Ronson, what's wrong? No, don't tell me. <sighs> yes, her escort has arrived and is waiting at the village entrance. Oh. I see. All right. Oh. Let's all go together then in Madison's special sun balloon. Would you join us as well? I guess so. Let's get abo all aboard. Well, that's cool. Wow, I feel like I've turned into a bird. Oh, Madison, don't make such such a ruckus. You do not want to fall from this height. Hey, everyone, take a look at that. It's a beautiful sunrise. The sun is waking up. It's blessing the start of your journey, Madison. Whether you're in Gerudo Town or Terry Town, never forget that we are all standing beneath the very same sun. <laughs> the only distance that matters is the distance between our hearts, you see. So you see, your mama will always be beside you. Ooh. We'll be touching down soon. Hold on tight. All right. Very soon, it seems. <laughs> It'd be funny if it dropped me off a of Gerudo and I had to like make my way back here. <laughs> well, that was a nice little sunrise. Oh no, we're just going. <gasps> Papa, your present made me very happy. <sighs> Madison, you know, if you get lonely, you can come back any. Sorry, never mind. Papa needs to be strong just like you. My little Madison, it's time for you to go on your big adventure. Yes, it's time. You can trust me. I'll take care of your papa and mama. Don't worry. You can go. Go become a wonderful Vi and come back with lots of stories to tell. I can't wait to hear about your adventures. I'll come visit you in Gerudo Town sometime. When I do, let's play again. Thank you. Every son, I mean Sarkso. I'm going to become a great Vi like mama. And I'll meet a wonderful Vo like papa. Hi. Savork, every son. All right. Ugh. Ronson, did I manage to keep a smile on my face? <sighs> yes, you did great. She didn't cry, so it's good we didn't cry either. Now this is the start of a new life for us too. Mm -hmm. Let's pull ourselves together if you're ready. I mean, she's so young. <laughs> it's like having a, I mean, like when their child's 18, I mean, it's like they're ready, but this is still like a kid. Just imagine like, like if you have a kid and you got to send him away with, how old was she, like 10, six? I don't even know. Let's pull ourselves together if you're ready. Yes, you're right, of course. <clears throat> okay, I am ready. Oh. Uh, sorry about that. You know, you really were a big help to me. Honestly, I can't thank you enough. Those Sunday Lions were pretty valuable, weren't they? Well, as a way of saying thank you, please take this. Silver rupees. Oh. And this from me. Silver rupees. <laughs> Thanks. Oh. You already helped me so much. But if you ever visit Gerudo Town, please check in on Madison. Mm-hmm. What are you talking about? Have you forgotten that Vo aren't allowed in Gerudo Town? I am, though. Mm. All right, I guess it slipped my mind. <laughs> now, I've got to get back to work. Don't you have a customer waiting for you, dear? I guess he does. 
All right. Well, that was great. Thanks for watching. We'll end it there for now. But come back. We'll check out what this uh, guy's going to do with his site. We'll try to build me a thing as well. There's a dragon here. I could try to get uh, something from this dragon. Let me uh, Actually, let me just try to do the dragon thing really quick. That will be fun, right? I could go up into the sky and see if I can make it. I mean, it's kind of far. Maybe this won't work. I'll see really quick. Or maybe I'll just... Uh, I don't know what happened. My dogs are barking, so uh, let's see. I, I zoned out because my dogs are barking. I think I think we have company here. Uh, the dragon is where? Where's the dragon? Is the dragon even here? Did I miss it? Does it relocate if you fast travel? I don't even know what the rules are. Oh, there it is. All right, so let me see what I can do about this dragon. If I can just land on it really quick and then... You know, get something. Uh, shoot it in the mouth. Is that what I need to do to get? Because like it depends on where you shoot the dragon, from what I hear. So if I could just shoot it in the mouth or something, then maybe we can get it done. The dragon fang. It almost seems like it doesn't even move when. But I would like to land on its back. I think. Collect whatever is on its back. There's stuff that's just kind of hanging out. I think that we've, we've gotten this dragon before, haven't we? All right, that saves uh, that buys me a little bit, I think. But I think every time I see a dragon in the sky, I should try to go get it or something, right? It might be kind of far. It might be moving too fast for me to catch up to it. That's the other thing to think about. But I think I am approaching it decently, so let's just keep doing what we do. I think this is the dragon I got before, but I, I would like more pieces of this dragon, please. I don't know if the claws, I should attack the claws. Alright. Here we go. Alrighty, and then... gonna drop in just give me one more shot at this I think I can make it very soon there you go oh yeah this thing is hot for whatever reason I tend to be pretty good at this part so I get to hit it once right that's the rule oh yeah and and my stamina refreshes oh I'm on freaking fire dude uh hold on let's see I'm not using any weapons that will easily catch fire, am I? No. What about my, let's see, armor? Heat resistance? This is like the only thing I have. Uh, flame guard. There you go. Flame guard is what I need. Flame guard. I don't know if this is good enough, but whatever. So I think it's if you shoot in the mouth, you get like a fang or something. I don't know. This takes forever to get to, honestly. Oh yeah, weren't there things on it? Yeah, there you go, shard of a spike. Those are valuable, right? I don't know what they're for, but I'll take a few. And then... Am I wrong? Do I do I shoot it in the mouth? Is that what I do? <laughs> Am I doing this right? Where is that going to go? There. Whoop, 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 whoop. There, there it is right down there. That's mine. I dropped it. What, what is... I can't carry any more melee. What is... That's not a melee. Oh, what? No, I got so confused. Oh, it's over there. Okay. So weird. Okay, here we go. Roasted bird thigh. 
it's over. It fell right here. Good thing it's close. I got a shard of his fang. Cool. All right. Well, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Ow. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.